Well, good morning or afternoon boys and girls. Rough rocks here. Uh, you probably noticed something different about my about me. Yeah, I got my new pair of glasses. I kind of like it. Uh, it's December I believe it's 10. December 10. This almost became a tradition to hop on a truck and go to Montrose Occurrence. So here I am. Behind me you can see a oh, noisy parking lot. I'm heading to a place that I pretty much go every December before snow settles. Behind the hill I want to check out a couple of places that I ignored last year so I want to take you along with me I had super hectic two months since last video I did as you noticed I was putting some shorts on just to keep in touch but I didn't have time to put together anything from my summer trips which I will do soon in the meantime I'm gonna fit this short trip to uh, Montrose and as you can see the weather decided to open the sky just here when I left Mississauga it was of drizzly anyway let's see what we can find I would like to find some something unusually crystallized I don't care selenite fluorite spalerite calcite everything is fine let's just fix our urge my urge to to survive this winter and the weather is cooperating why not let's see what we can find so as you can see uh, things are everywhere in the back side of this hill this is where the dwellings are I like to come here on weekday when you don't upset anybody by using your four pound sledgehammer but the rocks are scattered throughout the whole back, back side of the hill and as you can see if you want to do some bush bush walking you can find yourself in a area where nobody ever touched anything and all these rocks they have huge potential all you have to do is look for blob of calcite I think that's the easiest uh, trick that everybody should know about this place find your calcite and try to open that boulder and see what's there all these boulders have a huge potential of course you could kind of need a micro blaster to work with them but whenever you see those cavities like that you know the texture is super slippery here today because of the rain so I have to be very careful but my spot that I want to see is just up that hill and it's like a cavity with a lot smaller uh, size stones to work with so let's go check there but the light came out so nice here look at those colors it's beautiful what a day December and it's so nice and warm so that would be a good example of uh, what I was talking about calcite wise uh, but this one is really sitting in the ground it's not really moving I'm not gonna be fighting with it there's so much loose stuff here and the place I was thinking of is right there it's almost like a valley within a valley right there there's slopes on each side and all the smaller rubble 
is falling in to the bottom. So basically you work on the bottom and just see what you can find. All right, let's go inside there. So when you're here, I can't stress enough importance of this and gloves. And here we have prime Sorry for fluorides when you have the spongy um, stuff like this here. That's a good indicator that fluoride can be here. And there's quite a bit of rock conductivity here. I saw uh, places uh, broken uh, fresh rocks. All over here so I wonder if this is this year's or last year's but anyway that's the spot the snow is still in the very very bottom that's a cold little valley okay so that's the my system first I remove bite size bite size rock rocks that have already been crushed from previous cycle of life and if I see something that is worth investigating I put it aside and this, um, I will track it later on yeah so this one for example has a lot of uh, cavities but I don't I don't see any anything to indicate fluoride so I'm just putting away and basically that's how I process smaller pieces I usually pick a trench like that to the right discard to the left something that I want to smack with the hammer so I won't bore you and I won't waste your time I let you know if I find something worth talking about I think I'm gonna be leaving this location <laughs> soon um slim picking today uh, i'm gonna take this this is kind of cute uh crystal of feldspar in a little cave uh sorry feldspar spell it right um so yeah i was working around this boulder and I was carried away and then I looked at this boulder itself and it has a lot of stuff going on from from these calcites selenites this one is weathered out but you can see it's in a cavity of calcite and there's dolomite crystals throughout there's another one selenite uh, concentration so anyway yeah this this is very big place really every linear foot is the digging place i wanted to check this this valley deep valley it's very scarce for fluoride although i don't know if this may have some fluoride in it but it's a big chunk of selenite mixed with calcite popped out out, out of those one of those cavities i'm gonna take home one of the bigger boulders i don't want to make too much noise here because i hear people working in the backyards so we're gonna take it home and see what's there anyway uh gonna check one more place on the way out uh, area and I'm probably gonna get, get sandwich and go home and see you stuff at home see this clean stuff uh, at home this uh, piece of information is for those guys who love to dig for bottles this looks like it's some kind of dump I'm gonna try to Maybe look for stuff. There's something glass-like in there. I noticed that many um, 
channels that deal with rocks they uh, also have section of their channel designated to to coins bottles so if you guys think this is some kind of ancient I mean dump city dump from some time ago I think it's worth checking if you're interested in those things this is more more or less but the the baseball fields are at the back and this way you go to, to Rona I'm just heading back to the parking lot but I guess when we look for something we we look for all different kinds of stuff and this is the selenite rock saturated with selenite I'm just tired to crack this open and I don't have to because this one is already uh, milky meaning that it's decomposed from the water I think I have some clear in the backpack but this looks like some kind of dump a long time ago it used to be a dump all right see you later so this is a little bit unusual because this is evidence of definitely some rock hounding activity but this is really 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 old it's a typical uh, hole ditch pit I already went inside but I wanted to show you you can find those things when everything is green but I'm just you know waking my way doing my doing my way to the parking lot this is the Rona and I found this let's see what people left behind maybe some some cool stuff does anybody needs a new barbecue with a line and everything oh goodness just crawled here from the store am I becoming bottle collector I don't want to time to go home it was tiring day see you guys when I clean the stuff at home and the rain comes as we speak okay guys this is a couple of days later I could not get to this uh, uh, any earlier but uh, without delay this is the piece you saw me picking up from this big boulder it's just some selenite uh, nothing special I told you that I want to find something interesting so I, I brought home this this nice little um, spalerite because it's kind of like embedded in that little half cave here and there is some uh, other spalerites that I brought uh, didn't see, you didn't see this on the camera but I found later on towards the end very big um, dolomite bay, uh, carrying boulder from which this is coming uh, on out outside of the dolomite in cavity there was this nice pinkish dolomite crystal itself and from the same boulder speaking of interesting crystal when I broke it I found these concentrations of dolomite and this interesting crystallization of of um, selenite again this really displays nicely when you put it down it looks kind of like a cabinet piece what do you guys think yeah a few little few little bit of a couple of uh, little um, hiding somewhere there fluorites and this one is actually nice because it has kind of step levels of crystallization when you turn it around I can't focus very well So that's a floor right for you from there and I kept this uh, this little chunk I left it the way it is because I don't know if you can see it in here 
there is a cavity of calcite, dolomite, tiny crystals. And there is this big, big, nice crystal right here of spalerite. So I'm gonna work on this some other time. And this boulder has very nice concentrations of crystallization all around. So that's a project for slow days. There's more here. And it's very interesting because it's always full of dolomite with calcium, even here. And there is spalerites there too. Hello, anybody home? So again, indeed interesting combinations as, as I was planning always worth visiting that location Montrose Park occurrence enjoy your rock hounding if you get there and thank you for watching subscribe and like if you uh, enjoy this content and tell all crazy people about my channel see you in the next at uh, the next project